Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a cracked text effect in Adobe Photoshop. So let's jump into it. You can see on screen an example of the effect that we're going to be creating. So we have a cracked textured text effect and then we have a background texture in there as well. So I've created a new document in Photoshop and the dimensions of this canvas are 3,840 pixels wide, 2,160 pixels high, and the background is black. Now the first thing to do is just to create the text. So you can select the type tool and just left click anywhere, type your text. And if you just drag over that text to select it, you can then adjust the size from the top of the screen. And you've got fonts over here that you could pick a different font or you can go up to window down to character and you get the character panel on the right and it's much easier to control everything so you can adjust the space between the letters also known as tracking and you can change things like color case upper or lower lots of different settings so when you get your text and you're happy with it you can see mine on screen here and for reference this font is bebas kai so when you have your text and you're happy, what I'd recommend doing personally is just switching this off and then right click that text layer and duplicate it. Now the reason is that we're going to rasterize this in a minute so we won't be able to edit the text. And for me personally, I like to always keep an editable version here just so I can select it and see all of the different font properties if I do need to go back and start again. So there we go, we'll just hide that one. And we've got our crack copy. This is what we're going to be working on. Now at the moment this text is editable and one way we can do this is we can add a layer mask. And the next step is to get loads of cool brushes. Now I've linked some of the crack brushes that I'm using in this tutorial in the description and we will be using some grunge brushes later on. And you can just go on Google and search for grunge brushes, Photoshop brushes, whatever you like. And there are plenty out there to help texture up any text or effects in Photoshop. But the ones that I'm using for this, the crack brushes are linked in the description. So go to the brush panel, click the drop down here. And once you've downloaded the brushes, you just need to extract them from the zip folder if they're inside one and you're looking for a .abr file. When you find that file, just click the cog, go to load brushes and then navigate to that file and it will install them and add them to the bottom here. So you can see, hopefully I've got uh, lots of little cracked brushes down there. They're quite small. And you can see they look something like this. And if I zoom in, I'm now on the mask. So the mask is selected specifically. And if we set black as our foreground color, we can quite easily just left click and start creating cracks. Now it's good to use lots of different brushes. It creates a little bit of a, a bit of randomness that one is very big but we can scale this brush down using the slider here or by using the left and right square brackets on your keyboard I think I'll pick a slightly smaller one so this is one way that you can go through and create all of the cracks for your text now the good thing about doing this is that the text is all still editable even though your cracks will stay in the same place and it won't look the same with a different wording it's editable However, we're going to be doing something slightly different. We're going to take this a step further. So we, let's delete that layer mask. We'll just drag that to the bin and delete it. And we're going to rasterize our text. So let's right click on the text and select rasterize type. Now the lettering will no longer be editable. However, we can do some other cool stuff. So instead of using masks, what we're going to do now is select the eraser tool. And up here, we can use all of the same brushes within the eraser tool as we can with the brush tool. So I'm going to pick one of these and just close down the brush panel and just bring that size down. Remember using the left and right square brackets on the keyboard. And we're going to zoom in and we'll create a crack. Now this brush uh, is pretty good some brushes you use might be a little bit fainter so if they are a bit softer and they don't create a solid crack what I would do is just left click and left click in the same place again so what I'll do is I'll go one two three 
and you'll see it really strengthens that crack and emphasizes that brush effect. So we'll go and find another brush. Remember we're looking to create as much randomness as possible for these cracks. Let's do something like this. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Ah, so what I did there was I used the brush tool by mistake. So easy to get mixed up, but let's just make sure we've got the eraser tool selected. Now we can adjust the size of the brush. And I'm going to go one, two, three. So using the eraser tool is a very destructive way of working. Um, because when you erase something, it's not like a mask where you can undo it. You can see over here on the R, that is now permanent. But the advantage that we gain is that we can now use either the lasso tool or the polygonal lasso tool. Is that how you say it? Poly, polygonal. Poly, polygonal. Polygonal? However you say it, I'm going to use this one because the lasso tool lets you freely drag and select things, which is great. However, I'm going to use this tool here that I clearly can't pronounce because effectively it allows me to go in, zoomed in nice and close and just dot to dot around various shapes. Now I'm going to cut out this segment here. Now I've made this selection here. I can use that same tool to move this around, but I don't want to do that. So with this selection made, if I switch over to the move tool, what it lets me do is it actually lets me pull this piece away. Now the reason we're going to do this is because we want to pull it ever so slightly out of line so we could push it slightly to the right or maybe just push it ever so slightly to the left. The point is that we're just knocking it out of line so we're trying to simulate a real authentic crack effect. So you can see if this was really cracked text everything would be out of line it wouldn't all be in the same place so we can actually do the same again here and I'm going to select the entire bottom half and again now I've made that selection I'm going to select the move tool and I can actually go to edit free transform as well and I could scale this up and down I'm not going to but we can but I am going to rotate this ever so slightly. So literally just, you can see the rotation at the top here, 1.35 degrees. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys just to nudge this up. And I can press enter to set that and then go select, deselect to remove the marching ant selection. So you can see what we've done here is we've kind of pulled this piece out of line and then we've also uh, moved the bottom part of this letter and we can undo so we go to edit and step backwards and it brings back that selection we can go back to moving it around again so you do get a few different goes at repositioning everything if you're not quite happy so that's just one letter so it's just a case of then selecting different eraser brushes and just adjusting the size going through and creating various cracks on your text and I definitely encourage you to spend a lot longer doing this so creating those separations and then once you've created those separations it's just a case of going in with this lasso tool making the selection and then using the move tool to just shuffle everything out of place. And you can use the mouse or you can just use the arrow keys just to nudge everything out of place. And once you've done that for the whole word, the next thing we're going to do is add a layer mask. And we can now select the brush tool. And this is where you're going to want to search for some nice grunge brushes. You can find these everywhere online. Just type grunge Photoshop brushes and you'll find hundreds if not thousands. And you can load these awesome brushes in and on the mask with black selected, we're just going to start brushing in. Now, because it's a mask, we can hold shift and left click on the mask and it will hide it and we can show it again or we could drag it to the bin. So we have that flexibility now. It was just really the initial cracks that we wanted to create so we could move pieces of the letters around. For this mask, we can have the flexibility to switch it on or off. So we can now select white as our foreground color 
Now, of course, white does the opposite. So white paints back in. So initially it was a little bit too heavy, it hid a lot of our cracks, we couldn't really see them. So now we're keeping that texture and we're keeping that weathered effect on the lettering, but just making it a little bit less prominent. So now our cracks stand out a lot more. And that texture that I've added here, it just really kind of helps enhance the lettering rather than dominating all of the cracks. And then once you've finished that, Personally, I like to drop the opacity down ever so slightly just so it's not brilliantly perfect white. And if you do want, you can add a texture as well. So this is just a uh, kind of grit, gravelly texture that I've got online. And I've added that in at 70% opacity. And that is on top of that black background. So that texture just blends into the background. And then we've got our text layer with our crack effect applied at 90% opacity. So it helps them all blend together a bit more seamlessly. And if you spend a little bit of time and give your design a little bit of love, you'll end up with something that looks like this. And because we rasterized our text, we can't easily change the color as we would with the type tool. However, we can right click on our layer, go to blending options, and we can add a color overlay. So you can still go and pick a color for your text if you don't want to go with the color that you started with. And there we go. That's how to create a cracked text effect in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.